The process of reviewing code can take up hours and hours of a software engineer's time. For this reason, it's time critical that code review is done as efficiently as possible. But can pre-existing biases and stereotypes result in coding pushback, which ultimately lengthens the review process? Join us as we visit Google's campus in Sunnyvale to talk with research scientist Emerson Murphy-Hill and software engineer Sierra Jaspin and their research on the pushback effects on code review. The theory that we're working here from is called role congruity theory, uh, and that basically looks at whether the stereotypes people hold about groups are uh, in alignment with the stereotypes people hold about a particular role or a particular job. So what the, what the theory predicts essentially is that um, the, the qualities that are, uh, people think are important for a software engineer, um, they typically align with people's stereotypes about people who are young, people who are white, and people who are male. So the question is, on code review, uh, which is where uh, people review each other's code, um, that's a type of evaluation, uh, are the evaluations uh, better for, for those particular groups? So the dependent variable was the amount of pushback that an engineer receives during the code review. And we measured that in a few ways using our tool logs. And we'd previously shown in some prior work that this, these variables do actually represent the amount of pushback that people are receiving. The main independent variables were the demographics of the author, things like their age, gender, race, and ethnicity. We also included a variety of control variables that we knew would also affect pushback though. So things like the developer's seniority, their job family, the number of rev reviewers on the CL, and actually the size of the CL as well. Although most of the results from the research confirmed the original hypothesis on negative evaluations, there were a few unexpected results. So I was surprised that there wasn't uh, a big difference between insiders and outsiders. So essentially insiders are people who are on your same team. So when the author and the reviewer are on the same team compared to outsiders when they're on different teams. Uh, previous research outside of Google uh, showed that um, really you had to be an outsider to face uh, additional scrutiny during code review. Uh, the other thing that surprised us was the effect of age. We were surprised to find that older engineers face significantly more pushback than equivalent peers who are in the 18 to 24 range. And that was when we controlled for level and tenure. One of the things we're thinking about at Google and we're experimenting with is uh, this idea of uh, anonymous author code review, where uh, as a reviewer, you uh, look at a person's code by just sort of evaluating the code, but you don't necessarily know who it's from. Uh, so this is something we've been experimenting with for a while. Um, it seems like uh, you know something that should help uh, people eliminate their personal biases, um, uh, but it's not uh, not without its challenges. So uh, yeah, something that's something that we're trying. Bias is an industry-wide issue, and trying to do research on the effects of bias is really quite difficult. And I'm really proud of Google for actually going after this and trying to figure out where the problems are and then turning around and trying to fix them as well. Learn more in the March 2022 Communications of the ACM in the contributed article, The Pushback Effects of Race, Ethnicity, Gender, and Age in Code Review.